Well, you don't become an icon without an interesting backstory. NOLA Now reporter Sean Bailey tells us how the beloved New Orleans holiday mascot, Mr. Bingle, was born. You have a high-pitched voice. My name is Mr. Bingle. What's Christmas in New Orleans without Mr. Bingle? Hello, everybody. Hello. He's one of the city's beloved holiday traditions, and this season marks 75 years since he's captured hearts on Canal Street. Oh, he was a star. You know, he was a New Orleans historian Errol Laborde says Mr. Bingle was born in 1948 as a marketing strategy for the Maison Blanche department store. There was more and more of a movement to try to develop some kind of identity in the community because by the 1940s, the war was over, soldiers were coming home, people still didn't have babies. You know, they knew there were going to be a lot of kids coming into the future. Laborde says the Crescent City icon was actually inspired by the Windy City. The store's display director came up with the idea after a trip to Chicago. And this guy noticed that Marshall Fields, which at the time was the prominent department store in Chicago, had a character named Uncle Mistletoe, who was married to Aunt Holly. He talked to his uh, superiors at, at Maison Blanche. He says, you know, let's create something that belongs to us. So they came up with the idea of this little snowman. With holly wings and an ice cream cone hat, the flying magical snowman dazzled crowds of Christmas shoppers in the Maison Blanche display window. And he even scored a TV show. Well, it became really, really popular. It was something that was just so novel to TV at the time. Had there not been television, Bingo would have probably never gotten anywhere. I mean, it probably just been like a, a display or anything else. And so that... That really made him a star. Today, Maison Blanche is the Ritz Carlton on Canal Street, and Mr. Bingo is now owned by Dillard's. Jingle, jangle, jingle. Here comes Mr. Bingo. <laughs> but you can still visit the holiday mascot on display at Celebration in the Oaks. So the Mr. Bingo uh, that you see right behind me um, is the original uh, from Maison Blanche. Key Clavery with the City Park Conservancy says City Park has taken great care to preserve the homegrown symbol for more than a decade. I can certainly remember coming through when I was a kid. I'm local and sort of getting the story of who he was uh, from my parents. And now it's exciting to actually see my nephew, who's five years old, uh, get told by my dad, his grandfather, who Mr. Bingle is. Now Mr. Bingle adds a dash of local nostalgia among the sparkling light displays. But being able to continue telling that story is incredibly important to us and New Orleans as a whole. Um, so when we have grandparents coming through and talking about how when they were little, uh, they would go to Canal Street and see Mr. Bingle. It's so exciting to see the little children light up. It's a connection that can be made through the generations. A treasured holiday icon with a legacy that will live on in New Orleans for years to come. Jingle, jangle, jingle. Here comes Mr. Bingle. For Nola Now, I'm Sean.